Hello there, it's Moira MacDonald. Thanks very much for uh, stopping in to have a wee look today. Um, what I'm going to do is um, basically still do some layering because I've been doing that layering season, or season, uh, a wee series of videos. So I'm going to do the layering um, still and I am going to do it kind of mixed media style today. So it's a wee bit different. Um, from what we've been watching. My desk looks like a bomb's hit it and uh, in many respects yes perhaps it has uh, but the whole thing is I have dug out uh, a number of items uh, to include in this wee project um, so consequently it's it just looks as if everything's everywhere. Basically I'm going to make a card and I have, I have done a measure of preparatory work um, so, although again you'd need to tell somebody when you look at it because it really does look like a shambles so what we've got is I'm going to work with a card and I'm going to um, if you can see that okay it's a kind of pink florally uh, paper I'm going to use that as my initial layer on this particular card but I'm going to make up everything uh, before I actually stick it on well no I'm gonna I'm gonna put the first layer on that before I stick it on the card so my first layer these are by the way from a Kaiser Craft six and a half inch paper pad couldn't tell you the name of it can't remember um, I have distressed using the edge of a scissor going along it kind of like that because I don't have one of those Tim Holtz distress tools and I've torn a bit there to give it another kind of dimension to the distress. Um, I've used that um, Tattered Rose ink round the bits that I have uh, sort of distressed and I'm going to use that to layer on top of that. So I've used some double sided tape and I shall prepare my double sided my double sided tape to enable me to stick it down I find that if you oops I've just knocked a wee flower on the floor if you pull off just a kind of not so much a corner it's probably a bit more than a corner but the just the ends it helps you to initially get it sort of lined up size wise with where you want to put it before you pull the rest away and that way you stand a much better chance of getting it where you want it Yeah, that's that. So this can move them out of the way. Wait till this be flower in October. Yeah, this is going to be kind of shabby chicash when it's done, hopefully. Right, so there's um, the first parts of our layering and we now need to get that on to the card. Um, again, I could use double sided tape, normally I do but I'll tell you what, I, haven't, I should have maybe put double sided tape on it first and I haven't so what I'll do is I'll just run around the edge with the glue and still using this uh, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive Dry Clear Craft Glue um, seems okay make sure I put this the right way up and leaving a wee border all round the ends stick it down now see this wee bit I should have maybe thought about this this wee bit I've stuck down here I'm going to try and tease that up 
if I can. I hope I haven't stuck it down too hard because usually this uh, double sided tape it generally is quite strong. Right, I want to try to put a little bit of um, cheesecloth-y stuff kind of jutting out from there. Maybe too, too much. It's looking at it, you know, it's difficult to judge how much you're going to need. But basically I'll put a wee bit of glue there just on that wee bit. Just a tiny wee bit. Doesn't need to be much. And then I'll shove that in there like that and it will basically poke out a wee bit round about the card. Right, so what's next? Well, we've got a variety of things here. I know I'm going to be using the paper roses. Um, I was initially thinking I could use a doily, but whatever it is that I want to do, I want to do it in this section up here because there's a flower in the paper down the bottom. And when I looked at this, uh, it's the smallest doily I had, but it's it's really it's too big for what I want to do here because it's covering part of that. I mean, don't get me wrong, at that, I'm almost certainly going to cover a part of that, but I don't want to make it glaringly obvious with that. I have, this is actually a vellum sticker that I have, bear with me, I'm going to shut that door so that we don't need to listen to Daisy. She's enough a girl from that window and every threat that she thinks is coming her way. Right, so back to the matter. Um, this is a vellum sticker, it's actually half of a vellum sticker that uh, I have put onto a piece of card uh, just to make it solid because obviously without being vellum you can see through it and I wanted to use it uh, just basically um, as the next part of my layer below the flowers I'm planning and adding. Uh, I'm not going to stick it down completely straight either. You'll notice that as part of this actual decor on the, the image, there is a kind of torn piece of uh, text paper down the bottom. So I thought this would match in quite well with that. So we'll get a wee bit of glue on this. I mean, the name of the game, I think, is look at what you're working with and obviously try to find colours that you think match in with it or subject matter that matches in with it. So I'm not putting it down straight incidentally, I'm going to have that at a kind of jaunty angle because you're, you're probably going to see next to nothing of this when I'm done but it's there um, so you know a measure of it might be visible. Right so we've got that. I also want to add some lace. Now I've cut a couple of wee bits of lace. I'll maybe cut this a wee bit smaller still. Just bear with me. Because I can't uh, this lace here I got uh, through Ali's Express. I think it was. Uh, it just arrived the other day and oh wait a minute, this thing stuck to me. This thing came for eBay. Uh, I want to layer them up so that you know this being on the top because it's a it's a shiny lace, it's more decorative than the, the, the background one. The background one's nice but that is um, more I don't want to say more attract because I don't mean that. I just think that's more striking for what I'm planning and doing. So I'll just put, let me think, if we have that there and I just add some of that and a wee bit there. Now these are, this is a dry clear glue. 
uh, so I'm not overly worried about this. This is a thicker lace and what I would prefer to do because of that is maybe use the fabric tack. So I shall hope to goodness that I get enough fabric tack out without having it splurged or odds. It'd really help if it came out. I think it might be blocked. Oh, a wee bit. It's not even that old the bottle. But I don't think it takes much for Fabri Tag to decide that it's not plain. Now, see the one thing that strikes me when you uh, watch folk doing mixed media and, or not even mixed media, but gluing down things like fabrics and laces. It is really easy to overdo the glue and it's also very easy to make your project exceptionally heavy. And I don't like that. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I know there's going to have to be a measure of weight on it. Uh, you can't avoid that. But you don't need to make it weigh a ton. So, we shall add this to that. And that and of course my glue is just completely spewing it. Right, I'm not going to use this, so I'm going to um, use that clean my fabric tag. Bit of waste, but I never brought over a wet weight, so sorry. Lid on. Right, now. The next thing I want to do is start building up my flowers. Um, I've got a variety of flowers here. I have, sorry I've got that glue stuck to me. I've got my two big roses that I'm going to be using. I would have used three ordinarily but I didn't have three of that particular rose. Um, I'm not sure what they're meant to be but they're quite small and they're pink and white. Got some wee white flowers. I've got some uh, rose buds which are pink and white again. And I have die cut some wee leaves from a glittery white cardstock. I have some paper leaves which are uh, kind of pale in colour and they should go quite well with this. And there's another, another wee die cut leaf. I have a little um, kind of spray of pearls, which again will be uh, somewhere in this arrangement. So it's really just a question. I've also got a number of other pearls here that I'll be adding. It's a question of trying to establish in what kind of configuration you want to add things. Now, These come on a wire stem and no matter how hard you try you always get a wee bit of wire at the bottom. An awful lot of folk use um, hot glue to stick them on. I don't really like hot glue. Um, the, I don't know if I bought a Duff hot glue gun but I don't seem to be very good with it so it's not, it's not my glue of choice. Uh, so for this project I'm going to just try and stick with Fabri-Tac and hopefully it's going to play with me here and not pose a problem. Uh, so we shall see how it goes. So we'll put a splurge of fabric tack on that and stick it there and a splurge of fabric tack on this and stick it there. I'm trying to hold them into position for a wee minute. See, hot glue would stick them right away. That's um, one of the benefits of hot glue. But, like I say, I mean, it really just, it's just not my favourite. Right, hold on, I'm going to have to get a wet wipe because this glue is going to cause a problem. Oh, 
honestly think in some respects Fabri-Tank's got a life of its own. Right, so we're going to start to um, add the leaves and the flowers round about it. Uh, I'm going to put, I think I'll put this in, now this, because that's kind of big, I don't want it hanging over the end that way, but I don't mind if it hangs in that way. So I'm going to cut the wire with these pliers to try and ensure at least it's not really uh, sort of sticking out and potentially a nuisance. A wee bit of fabric tag in the back. And we'll shove it in there. Uh, this one is a different kind of leaf, same, roughly same colours. I've actually got these are all in my stash, by the way, because I have I have used everything at some point or other. Um, you know, you you think you're going to be Mrs. Mixed Media and you give it a go, and I mean, it's, it, it 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 was all right. I mean, I enjoyed it to some extent. Um, working with mixed media stuff, but I'm not, I'm not really a dirty, handy, dirty person. I, I much prefer um, being quite clean in terms of what I do. So, you know, working with paper suits me a lot better than working with paints that get your hand covered. Um, so, I, you know, I just, it wasn't for me, not to my taste at all, the mixed media. Uh, so, but that doesn't mean to say that I don't uh, dabble periodically. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do. Uh, obviously, I'm doing this, so you know. It's really just a question of building up your wee scene and determining, you know, seeing a wee gap and figuring out what you're going to fill it with. I think these pliers are very good. Yeah, the other thing is, of course, you end up with tons of glue strands everywhere you go. No matter what you do, if you're using hot glue, you get the glue strands. Glue strands can be gotten rid of by using, um, what do you call it? A heat gun. See if you just go over something with a heat gun very quickly and gently, you know, no, not labouring it, it'll melt those glue strands to the point where they just kind of shrivel up and disappear. I think I need new pliers. These are terrible, so is there. Fabri tank still living its own life. Trying to cut this and it's just not playing at all. I think I might need to get a new pair of pliers. Right, now I uh, still want to add some of my tulips. I think I'll keep them on their stem and have them poking out a little bit. Let's 
get the glue on the stem and add it in. It's fighting back a wee bit. Right, uh, reasonably happy with that floral arrangement. Put the lid back in my fabric tank just now because I'm going to add these little uh, white die cut leaves that I cut from the glitter card. And I think in this instance I shall just use um, this dries clear glue stuff for these because they're quite small and they are only paper so. Oops, overdid the amount of glue I put in that. It's so easy to be heavy handed with glue, isn't it? I mean, which of us? Like he who is without casting stones and all that when it comes to the glue. This is maybe just a bit uh, too big, so I'll cut, pull it off there and use this wee bit. these wee pearls, I was going to add these as well, so I can cut that, I can afford to cut this down because this is quite um, low. I think these sort of things are all intended for kind of like bridal arrangements. This is going to definitely need to be done with fabric tack uh, because it's not paper and it's not heavy, certainly not heavy. But what a mess. Let's clean the end of this off with a baby wipe. Right, and we shall turn it upside down. Hopefully that will get enough glue in it. scissors and I'll poke that down in the centre to make sure it's making contact with something. That's good. Now I thought I was going to use this, I'm not sure about it, it's um, polymer clay, uh, it's a wee frame I made, I had a mould and I made this wee frame. Um, I painted it with uh, some white opalescent paint to just give it a wee kind of sheen and I'm thinking I'll put it at the bottom here. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac to stick it on. Hopefully the Fabri-Tac should be strong enough. I should maybe actually, if it, if the fabric tacs not strong enough and it comes off, um, I can use, what do you call it? 
glossy accents because glossy accents is really good for sticking this kind of thing. I'm going to stick it over that rose on the bottom. Right, I can put my lid on. Um, and bear with me, I need to open the back door for Tim because he's obviously seen something he wants to bark at. Right puppies, come on. Come on you go. Oh, no. Open the door and he just looks. Right, so back to the matter in hand. So we've got this big section here at this side. I'm not suggesting we should cover absolutely everything with um, something, but uh, I again die cut some stuff and I wasn't entirely sure what I would use here. Um, I have some little feathers which are quite nice uh, or I have a wee butterfly which I could stick there or I'll get a wee heart actually I think if I did the butterfly I would almost certainly do the heart as well because it would just it would balance it up a bit but I think do you know I could still use this wee leaf somewhere by the way in fact I will Bear with me a second, I'm going to stick this leaf on. Uh, no, it's not going to go in there. That'll do us there. Right, um, uh, my own personal preference, I have to say, is for the feathers because I can make them look like they're falling down to some extent. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm actually going to leave this section. I did, there was a, let me see if I can find it, look, have I done it? Aye, there was a tag that I took from the pack. Uh, that m went with this particular paper saying you make me smile and I was toying with adding that but I'm not sure if I will quite often um, when I'm making cards I like to leave them blank on the basis that um, be if you want to subsequently suggest a sentiment I'm only too happy to lid on that I'm only too happy to come along and either stamp or put a small panel on with the sentiment that somebody would be looking for or alternatively when it's something as elaborate as this, it may well be that somebody just likes it and thinks I would quite like to frame that in a box frame. So in that respect, obviously, putting a sentiment on it's not really appropriate. Um, I'm also going to add, by the way, some little self-adhesive pearls. I think these came from these and the majority of the flowers and leaves. Uh, not the die cut ones that I did. All came from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, which is a website here. If anybody is interested in having a look, I can always try and add a link to the site. Right, I'm going to add my leaves. Not my leaves, my feathers. Don't want to overdo it. It just looks like the leaves are, eh, not the leaves, the feathers are floating down through the air. There they go. That's it. Now, uh, I'm going to add these wee self adhesive pearls. I've got white ones and I've got pink ones. I don't know whether to use the white ones, which are from Creative Expressions, or. I'd say it might be better with the white ones or the kind of creamy coloured ones simply because it's the ab Right, sorry I didn't realise camera cut out there um, so I must have done 30 minutes It's a bit of a nuisance, so it is See if it did any sense instead of getting a big exercise machine I should have got a camera for my birthday Oh 
these are awfully. They're what we call footery. Footery is just exceptionally awkward because they're so small. Like I'm never going to get that one. It's sticking to my finger. Right, here we go. Right, uh, I think we'll add, we'll just dot a couple about and all, because it doesn't do any harm to have a wee Try clear glue so it will disappear if it marks a card. Well, not disappear, but it's, it's not screamingly obvious, put it like that. For goodness sake. Nope, fighting back. Right, there we go, that's it. I don't think... I don't think I can cope with any more, never mind do any more. Right, um, so that's basically a bit of layering on your mixed media front. Uh, wasn't quite what I had planned on when I was talking about layering, but um, again, it's all part and parcel of the shenanigans. Uh, the inspiration, if you like, I was watching, uh, is it Marimi Small Art? A girl called Marta who lives in Ireland. Um, she had been, well, I think it was actually, it wasn't a new video, I'm pretty sure it was an old one. And I was looking at her videos the other day um, and I happened to come across one where she made a card and I thought, you know, I've, I've not done that for ages and I really, I, I need to, now that I've, I've been watching it, I need to have a go at it. So there you go, that is uh, my take on uh, some of the stuff that Marimi shows us. I'll put a link to her channel in my uh, wee bit below, the wee blurb I found. But um, not sure when my next video will be because my husband's on holiday for the next couple of days. That's Timmy winding chip up. Um, my husband's on holiday for the next couple of days and that tends to hold me back from doing much. Um, not that we're living a, a very active life, it's just when he's in the house, he, you know, he walks in and out all the time when you're trying to film. It doesn't make for it being easy. So, um, you'll see me when you see me, but I will be back, as I'll be back, as Arnie would say. Thanks for your time today. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. It's one of the things. Everybody's entitled to an opinion. Um, let me know what you think of it. If you want to... Uh, chat. I'm only too happy to speak to you. Um, and I'll see you when I see you. So bye bye guys. Thanks for being with me. Bye.